I got to get straight to the point on this. Putin does not like Donald Trump. Putin does not like Donald Trump. They have nothing whatsoever in common. Nothing. Putin joined the military, went up the ranks in the military, joined the KGB in the military, fought for his country, has never filed bankruptcy. Putin doesn't really care who becomes president of the United States of America. Russia considers America to be its enemy. The war in the Ukraine is, is supported by America. America is sending the money to support the troops in Ukraine and to pay to keep that government operating because they can't function anymore as a country because Putin has knocked out 80% of their electricity. And I believe it's something like, I don't know, 10 million or so people that have left the Ukraine. Ukrainians don't even want to join the military. They're trying to get out of there. There is a possible coup that could happen in the Ukraine any minute and take Zelensky out of power. But now let's get back to this. Trump has as many bankruptcies as he has draft deferment. He has dug the draft as many times as he has filed bankruptcy. How in God's name is he supposed to cure a $34 trillion deficit? He can't manage his own money. How is he going to manage the money of this country? We are in a war, a proxy war. We are defending Ukraine. We are defending Israel. And we're being kicked out of Africa militarily by Russia. How is a guy with five military deferments supposed to know anything about war. He is obviously afraid of war. I mean, this doesn't even make any sense. Let's, let's add this up. This guy has more, actually more than five bankruptcies, but he's supposed to be what we need to fix up this trillions of dollar deficit, which he is partially guilty of creating. Let me get this other thing right. Here's a guy with no military experience whatsoever, and he's supposed to run our military. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't make this up. The guy's incompetent. But let's go back. He has nothing, nothing whatsoever in common with Putin. <coughs> Excuse me. The president of Burkina Faso, Abraham, Abraham Traore, a black man, has more in common with Putin than than Trump ever will. This is a military man who came up through the ranks. Him and Putin have very, very close ties. They respect each other. Putin has no respect for a guy that is guilty, as far as I'm concerned, of pedophilia and rape 
and said on a bus that he grabs women by the pussy and he doesn't care if they're married. Putin is a religious man. He is a spiritual man. And he told the people of Russia that they will worship a black Jesus. That's putting your money where your mouth is. That's risking your political life or putting it on the line to tell the truth. Putin never tried to overrun his country. Never. Do you think he has anything in common with Donald Trump or that he likes Donald Trump? If you do, you tripping. If you do, you tripping. They have nothing in common whatsoever. There is no reason for Putin to like or even respect Donald Trump. Do you think Putin eats at McDonald's? Putin is a martial arts expert. The only thing Donald Trump can knock a person out with is a fart and then change his diaper. I mean, and why on God's green earth would Donald Trump try to use a person who is at war with the United States as a reason to vote for him, as a reason to show his popularity. That doesn't even make sense. That would be like Roosevelt saying that Hitler was his pal. That would be like Roosevelt, FDR saying Hitler wants him to be president of the United States. I mean, is this insane or what? I mean, let me see. I'm going to close by saying this. Everything that the United States is doing right now is going backwards. In fact, I'm going to save that for another video. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.